Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Cassandra if you're new here and today we are going to be going through some jobs that are available here in Yellowknife in the fall. So this is sort of a fall edition of <laughs> the jobs video. I did do one a little while ago in the summertime and so I thought I would update it. It did really well. You guys seem to really like it, but I'm gonna do it better this time. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and also ring the bell beside the subscribe button and hit it to all so that you will be notified of all my upcoming videos. And definitely give this a thumbs up if you have found it useful or a thumbs down if you haven't, but I would really prefer a thumbs up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna show you some resources too. If you're not watching this in the fall, like right now, these jobs obviously may not be available. So I'll give you the resources that I use down below. If you're interested about what jobs are most popular here and things like that, you might want to check out my Q&A video. I go through what the most popular jobs are from the census and things like that. So, so just a disclaimer, I get so many messages on Instagram or comments or you email me, whatever it might be, about trying to help you get a job. I cannot do that, guys. I First of all, if I went to get a job here right now, I would even have a hard time because I haven't worked at a, like a retail job or a normal job that wasn't self-employed in years. Like, I mean, it's been years. I would have a hard time. I wouldn't even know where my references were or anything. <laughs> so like, I cannot help you. I know you, a lot of you guys ask me for like sponsors, even like to immigrate and things like that. And especially if you're coming from outside the country, I'm really sorry, but I actually have n no idea <laughs> how to get a job here. Some of the jobs I did notice as I pre-scanned these do say if you are not legally able to work in Canada or like, I'm pretty sure it means if you don't have citizenship right now, then don't even bother applying. Some of them are very clear on that. Don't apply if you're not living in Canada already, but some of them are not. So I'm assuming those are the ones that you can apply for. I'm only just providing information that I'm finding in a condensed place for you to give you hopefully a bit of an easier time to know what kind of jobs are available. So I hope that's been clear and not offensive in any way. I just don't want you to waste your time emailing me and then be disappointed when I email you back saying, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Okay, so what I've done here is I've typed in Yellowknife Jobs on Facebook and it's shown me some jobs here. I also have some Facebook groups that I'm a part of, but we're just gonna start just with these jobs that have come up. I didn't do this last time and I didn't even know this was a thing. But as you can see there, let's go to this personal support worker one. So obviously they have a Facebook page and they've posted their job and it even says this little apply now um, thing right here. So you can just apply through Facebook, I guess, which is kind of cool. Some of them will also say that you don't even need a resume. You can just, I'm assuming it's just like an application form that you fill out online. So jobs near you and I put within 120 kilometers, there's a substitute teacher here of personal support worker. This one I'm seeing doesn't display, let's check another one just before I say that, doesn't display like the, what you get, like how much money you get. So this one is a substitute teacher or classroom assistants, bachelor in education not required. That's surprising. That's for the Catholic school. I've seen them uh, have a couple of postings. Um, okay, so then you've got even a server here at the dining hall in Aurora Village. So that's holiday jobs. Oh yeah, so there'll probably be quite a few seasonal postings now. So that's good. Oh, here's one with a fee, a salary. So right here, director of child and youth worker, and it says right there, 83,000 per year. I like it when it's clear like that <laughs> so that you know how much you're getting because you really do need to make a significant amount if you do want to move here and not have two or three jobs. I know many people do live here and have two or three jobs, but it's expensive to live here is what I'm trying to say. So uh, this is at the YWCA and they're hiring a director of child and youth programs for a one year term. Full time position, so 40 hours a week after school. Yeah, and it tells you exactly how to apply and what to do. Very clear. That's good. What else here? And you can see also the amount of days the thing was posted at. So you've got seven days here for recreational leader. So that will give you an indication of when it was posted, if it's still available. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Superintendent of the YK1. 
oh, interesting. We just got a new superintendent, so I'm quite surprised they're hiring a new superintendent. Duties will commence. Oh, okay, I guess the person is only doing it for a year. Maybe they're retiring. I'm not quite sure, but they are really nice apparently. So I always get scared with things like this because I homeschool. So <laughs> I'm always like, oh, hopefully it's someone who likes homeschooling. The people that are there right now, I've had no problems with, like the people that I have to deal with, but um, they've been wonderful actually and very fast and efficient. But yeah, it always scares me. If you get someone in there that doesn't like homeschooling, you know, things can change pretty quick. So there's one, dental assistant, 20 to $24 an hour at the Adam Dental Clinic. I don't know anything about that clinic, but I've only been to one dentist here. Gives you a clear description of the job. Oh, and an annual $850 travel bonus I see there. And it tells you that you get benefits as well. I think a lot of jobs here have these travel bonuses, which is excellent. So it allows you to, when COVID is not going on, to travel um, back home. Um, if you, I think it's more for if you're within Canada, because I don't know how much $850 will get you if you're not outside of Canada, what kind of <laughs> flight that would get you, if a flight at all. But it's, you know, very helpful so that it makes it a little easier for you to be able to go visit your family. I think that's quite a popular thing with um, good jobs here. And it says it includes an excellent benefits package as well. And it wants um, clinical experience if possible. So as you can see, there's quite a few jobs here. I'm going to take you somewhere else now. Um, I'm a part of a few different groups. Yellowknife job opportunities. There's one. Let's see what's available for that. Oh, okay. So open work permit. So this person's on an open work permit. Interesting. So see people do work here from out of, out of country. Uh, Flowers North is seeking a delivery person. Oh, okay, so this hospital is looking for a cook through this company, Dexterra. So anyway, this is a good group. So this is the Government of uh, Canada website. Um, I went there, and this is a really good, reliable site to find jobs on. Because I know some of them, you know, if you search Yellowknife Jobs in Google, for example, I know some of them are, like, spammy and, uh, yeah, just not reliable, and you never know if the job is, like, real or not basically as you can see I've got yellow knife there and I also filtered for that it was posted within the last 30 days so we've got chef here 18 to 23 dollars an hour it clearly says the salary right there for each job I think this is the one we looked at at the hospital oh no let's see oh in a camp oh maybe it's in the mine it's a guess in a camp. I don't know what else that would be. And you are like a head chef, so you're supervising five to ten people there, it says at the top. And show how to apply there at the bottom in green is very helpful. We'll just check out a couple of jobs on this one and then I'll show you the next one. So as you can see though, while we are here, you can filter by area. You can um, that's when I clicked last 30 days. You can click for part-time, full-time, permanent, seasonal, what kind of salary you want, the years of experience you, you know, you need so that you can really specify it so that you can get what you're looking for. And there was quite a few jobs here. So 103, 33 results there at the top. So that's quite a few. You got a cashier at the gas station merchandiser at brick the brick travel consultant I clicked that I've always kind of wanted to do that I've heard they get really good perks as a travel consultant truck driver uh, food service counter at Pizza Hut oh, okay um, so like a cashier basically at Pizza Hut kitchen helper sushi north is hiring a cook Boston pizza is hiring a cook I'm pretty sure probably like almost all the retail would be hiring. Here is one for the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Media Relations and Communication. Um, a barista. Food counter attendant. So that's where we'll stop there. So that's JobBank. 
www.gc.ca. So here is the government website. I'm so sorry. So those ones were just through the government of Canada. You can post if you're a business. This is actually working for the government. So the Northwest Territories government. So you've got a mental health and addictions counselor, 92,000 to 101,000. That one's in Norman Wells. That's a really small community. Oh, they're all really small <laughs> compared to here. This is really small, Yellowknife. So they're all like tiny, tiny. Quality assurance coordinator. I'm not quite sure what that would be. Um, Distance and alternative high school teachers. Interesting. And that's in, again, a community somewhere. Mm, airport border officer. 84,000 to 101. Let's see. I mean. And I'll just say this again, because I do get this question a lot. When my husband applied here, my husband works for the government. Um, he's a nurse at the hospital. And when he applied here, he did have to apply a few times. He was like rejected. They didn't even give him an interview a few times. Um, and they do it. I don't want to screw this up, but they do do it based on like they hire locals first. They hire, I'm pretty sure, First Nations people first. I don't know if they're called First Nations. There's two different groups here. Um, the I don't want to screw it up, but they, they do hire based on some of those things. So, you know, if you're out of province, they'll hire you. Oh yeah, I said that. If you're local here, they'll hire you first. So there's actually a sort of tier system. So if people are applying before you and they're, they meet those things before you, then they're going to get the job before you. But don't be scared to keep applying because people ask me that all the time. Even if you've gotten an interview, it's, it does not hurt to keep applying and they're, they're in need here. So you're likely to get a job here compared to other places in Canada, especially. So, and it's great pay usually. So don't give up if you, you know, if you've applied or been applying or are rejected, keep applying. Um, okay. So you've got one in Invoke, Invoke there, technical coordinator again, um, a dental hygienist in Fort Smith, clinical assistant, there's an RN. That's an RN in the emergency room. So, and again, these, like, so the salary here is 92000 to 111 but you can pick up overtime often. So if you're looking to make more than that, it's very easy to do here. It might be a little easier for my husband. I'm not quite sure because he's a float, so he can work on many different floors, but I'm pretty sure it's just as easy when you're, like, specialized like that. Um, and they are offered the overtime first. Like if you're on the medicine floor and they have medicine overtime availability, they'll give it to the people that are on the floor and then they'll give it to the floats. So there's lots of overtime, overtime opportunities. I think he probably gets the most overtime on surgery and medicine, a little bit on peds, a little bit on psych. I think those are the only floors he works, but um, just a little heads up there. So you can make well over what it's saying here. Um, and also there's things like, don't forget, there's things like your Northern living allowance, especially if you're going to some of these communities that can be extremely high. So, um, yeah, it's like thousands, <laughs> um, per year or per month. How is it? It's paid on your paycheck. I can't remember what it is if it's per year or per month, but anyway, so you get your Northern living allowance and yeah, there's just, you get really good benefits and things like that. So let's keep looking at a few more here and then I'll move on to the next one. I see I've been going at it for a while there. Um, manager of information services, hospital receptionist. Uh, okay. There's lots of mining jobs here as well. So a specialist at giant mine, human resources officer in Anuvik, Anuvik, that's how you say it. Labor market programs, deputy minister. Hmm. Okay. So lots of different jobs on the government website. Then we've got Indeed here. DoorDash is new here. So I think a lot of the businesses were getting upset because there was like a little scandal <laughs> with DoorDash where they were putting restaurants on the DoorDash website, but then they want a cut or something of when they deliver the food. So I think the only one that's on there might be McDonald's right now, but kind of cool. You can get McDonald's delivered now. Um, I just got an email the other day that you can get like a free Big Mac and free delivery if you 
use DoorDash or something from McDonald's. So kind of cool. So they're hiring. I don't know if that's going to last here is what I guess what I'm trying to say with that, <laughs> but it's cool. Shelf stalker, Canadian tire, hospital receptionist. So they do have some of the government jobs on here as well. Indeed is kind of, meh. You know, not one of the best things, but we're see, see we're seeing a lot of repeats from other sites here, like the Shell Cashier. There's a paralegal. They, I thought they would make more than that here. Um, so sixty-seven thousand to seventy-eight thousand a year for paralegals. They should make more. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's pretty hard work. Um, parks maintenance officer. So eighty thousand to ninety-six. I'm interested in that. Let's just check that one out before we move on. So we know what the salary is. Okay, just making sure. Uh, the position is located in Yellowknife, but spends the majority of their time at one of the three campgrounds or seven day use areas. I've showed you Fred Honey Territorial Park. I think that's where the beach is. So that would be probably in July's video. Ingram Trail I've showed you. So interesting. I don't know what they, I've never seen anybody there at those places, but I'm not quite sure what they do if they just, okay, so, so they do maintenance, I see. They shut it down, they open it, whatever. Maybe. So you need a grade 12 diploma and a minimum of three years experience and general maintenance. Even that, even if it says you need experience, I would still apply because I'm pretty sure, and you don't have experience, I would still apply is what I'm saying because I'm pretty sure my husband's job might have said you need like at least a year's experience or something like that and he had none. Um, no, he had like three months or something. I can't remember. I think he did work in Ontario for a few months, but it wasn't the required amount and he still got the job. So they're just in need. <laughs> have I said that before? They're in need. Okay, so let's go back uh, to one more. I just have Kijiji. It only had one job on it. And it was this field service IT technician. And, you know, Kijiji's hit and miss as well. But worth checking out just in case. And so, yeah, here's the job here. I did have someone email me one time and I did post it on my community page where they thought they got a job, but they weren't sure if the location was actually where it said it was. So I actually drove out there to see. It was supposed to be some construction site, some construction company, I'm sorry. So I just drove out to see it was an industrial area and it is possible that it was in that building, but there was no signage and it definitely like there was a lot of like old cars and stuff outside of it. You can check it out. I took a picture of it and I thought, oh, I don't know if that seems legitimate or not. And they were offering him a job from outside the country, which also worries me a little bit, you know, because you can be imagine coming from outside the country, coming in and realizing you don't actually have a job here. Nightmare when you I'm sure you have to pay a ton for visas and whatever else. So Anyway, that scared me a little bit and I posted that. So always like do your best to make sure as much as you can that it's a reputable job. And if it seems off, it probably is off. So, you know, anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Hope you've enjoyed looking at jobs with me. So I hope this has been helpful to you and please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. On this channel, I do homeschooling content. I do mostly yellow knife content right now. I wanna make a little bit of a shift later on. Um, to homeschooling content, but um, yeah, I give you tours of Yellowknife. I talk about everything about Yellowknife. Oh, another idea I had was to do some reviews of Yellowknife restaurants. We tried almost no restaurants here, and so I thought it would be fun to try them with you guys. Maybe I can even get my husband on camera. Probably not. <laughs> he said he'll come on camera. Just a reminder when I get 5,000 subscribers, so definitely subscribe. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought, I thought we'd try at some restaurants and let you know how that goes how the restaurants are here because I hear a lot of good things so anyway let me know if that's interesting to you in the comments and let me know your experiences of course if you've gotten a job here recently I love it when you guys tell me that stuff definitely leave that in the comments below share that with everybody and yeah we can all learn together hopefully if you've had experience even immigrating here or anything like that people are always asking me questions like that if you're willing to talk about that stuff definitely make it known in the comments below <laughs> so you can help other people and yeah Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.